full time. He's also taking criminal law courses at Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Boy. The count is five. The count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. Sam. Very, very quickly. Oh, no. Uppercut and Marvis is hurt. Razor is down. Joe Cortez moves in to have a look. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. So once people start off their day all kinds of ways, I like to start off my day. Watching Tyson, Mike Tyson, the greatest boxer of all time, kick some ass. Uh, so so uh, I want to talk about the Mueller report before I was uh, rudely um, cut off. Uh, I'm in YouTube jail for one week. So if you're watching this, you're on Marcus Conti 2. And, uh, you know, I appealed. I appealed my, uh, my ban for one week and got the um, no response and a flat out, we reject your, your, uh, your appeal. Uh, so that's 1984 shit. There is no, we don't, I don't have a voice in, uh, in the appeals process. It's just you write, you limit it to 300 words, you write those words, and then you fire it out and you get your rejection. Uh, so I want to, but more importantly, I'm still here. If you could see me, I'm still here. Uh, so I want to talk about the Mueller report and what it is and what it isn't, it's the big move covering the little move, right? That's essentially what Russiagate was all about. The big, the, the little move now is little. At the time, it was huge. But the little move is really is the election fraud, is that, is that the, the Democratic Party rigged the election against Bernie Sanders. And then when they were caught cheating, when their emails leaked out to the public, they then created this this outside force uh, that to, to blame, basically, and say that the Russians did it. They created these characters, uh, Guccifer and, and such, right? But there's no evidence whatsoever that that's what, that's what occurred. There was no evidence at the time. The FBI never took the servers and, and analyzed them properly. Instead, the DNC hired an outside firm called CrowdStrike to scrub those servers, there's a lot of other stuff as well. But that's, um, that's essentially the move that Russiagate was designed to cover. And then when, when Hillary Clinton got the nomination and Bernie Sanders was clearly out of the way, then they just transferred that attack to Trump and said, oh, yeah, yeah, there's all that going on and Trump is responsible, right? So it was, it was a lie and then it was a compounded lie. Uh, that's really what was going on. But I want to, um, let's, um, j just a little a quick advertisement and then I'll, I'll move on. So here here we are, Mar uh, Marcus Conti 2. I'll be here for about a week. <laughs> that was ridiculous, I, I know. But become still become a Patreon. Go to the other channel, hit the page or in the links down below. Hit the Patreon. We're at, uh, thank you very much, Patreons. You're the what's still keeping me going. I hope they don't attack you too. So we got 32 Patreons. I'm going to keep going if you're going to keep going, right? If you want to watch Mike, Mike Tyson? I'll get into the... I'm going to get into the letter in a second. It's not that... It's I'm trying to... try. I, it's just such bullshit that I, I can't... Uh, the mainstream media right now is spinning out of control. We'll talk about that, too. Well, let's watch some Mike Tyson. Some ass-kicking. I have heard you there, Jim. What a peach of a left hook that was. And he's going to do it in the sixth because he's only midway through. And this is the way he finishes him off now. The master of the, the finishing stuff. What a fighter. Absolute ferocious. And what a game man. He took every punch. I, 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 I like Mike Tyson in that he's, he's so brutally talented that there was no, he would come out without the, without the music and the lights and the, and the fancy robe and the fancy footwork. He would just come out with his, with his you know, with his, with his little white towel on, and ready to kick ass, just brute force, the greatest puncher, the strongest. He wasn't big. He wasn't 
tall. He didn't have reach. But, man, what a, what an ass-kicking he would lay on people. I love this guy, man. In the book there, Pink and, and just for the record, I think, I think boxing is, is a barbaric sport. I think it's <laughs> – you want to talk about sheer violence. Right, we're allowed to watch this, though. This is the most violent fucking sport. The object is to make the other man unconscious. That's what we're, that's what we're watching. Thomas, he is not yeah, going to make this in the sixth round. Brutal. And you really, your heart goes out within the, the embarrassment. Let's watch one more. Oh, this is a good one. Tyrell Ty 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 Biggs. He falls like a... Like a, like a that must hurt. Oh, what a jab, that one. That's the way to break up the opposition's oh. uh, concentration. And he did it. I think there's another one out there. So let's, let's move it. Oh, Larry Holmes. Let's watch Larry Holmes. Let's watch, watch Larry Holmes. Oh, what a punch that was. <laughs> oh, and he's gone again, and the legs absolutely collapsed underneath him. That's it. So, Larry Holmes then absolutely all right, flattened All right, So we had our Mike Tyson for the day, right? So, so here's, the, here's the letter. Da, 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 da. Here's the letter, right? So here's the big letter that was sent, the Mueller four-page report. I, this is everything right here. I forget about what... CNN is saying and all the spin. The, the, lines that, the lines are this. The report explains that a primary consideration for the special counsel investigation was whether any Americans, including individuals associated with the Trump campaign, joined the Russian conspiracies to influence the election, which, could be a federal, which would be a federal crime. The special counsel's investigation did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with Russia in its efforts to influence the 2016 presidential election. As the report states, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activity. So that's the big move. The big move was to take all of the, to cover the cheating that that they had cheated, that the Democrats, the DNC, with Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Donna Brazil, Robbie Mook, Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, to cover the cheating with a lie about Russia. And it turns out that, that well, is that part of it a lie? No. That was the original lie. That was the original sin. And the Trump, that Trump did it all was the big move cover. And that's what the mainstream media ran for for two years, every day. Rachel Maddow, how many times you see the videos of saying Russia, 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 75 times in one show. Russia, conspiracy, right? Over and over and gaslighting the American people to believe that Trump hacked them, the DNC. The Russians, in collusion with, with Trump, hacked the DNC which is nothing could be further from the truth. And now there's, there's, there's evidence on the table, their own guy, Robert Mueller, the special counsel who was appointed because the real counsel couldn't... Um, there are consequences to this action as well. The, what I wanted to finish saying is that, that Congress uh, uh, couldn't get it done because they're so partisan that they had to get somebody special uh, to do it. Not even the attorney general... Uh, was able to do it because they're all so partisan. I want to get to the um, the consequences. We're going to hear Donald Trump in his own words. The consequences of of this action, accusing a sitting president of being a Russian spy, a conspirator, a traitor, right? That's the ramification of what what was said. But not only that, how our intelligence agencies actually got it done. Right, which is which is really is. I mean, they 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 got Pfizer. They got Pfizer warrants to to say that that uh, that Trump had colluded with the Russians, and they 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 ultimately got people like you know Paul Manafort got caught in the dust, got caught in the mix up. He went to jail. You know, uh, uh, my uh, Flynn went to jail. Right or well, was, was facing jail. The point is that a lot of people got hurt based on this lie, and that's where Trump is going to get them. Right? The other part of it, and and then that's that's really it about this report so far. The big part, right? So that was the big move, 
And now that we, it turns out to be fake. Trump did not collude with the Russian government. Finished. End of story. Finito, right? But here's the lie that, that continues. And this is devastating. This is, a, 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 in many respects, a huge win for the Democratic Party because they had to prove, they had to prove that the Russians hacked the election, that the Russians got inside their DNC servers and released those emails to the public. And why? Because they can now use that as a reason to censor others. Because I'm telling you, in 2020, when Sanders starts to surge again, they're going to they're gonna shut down all descending voices and say it's Russia, right? Because they did it before. And now they've got, they've got their, their little move in place. And what is the little move? The, sec, the second element of the, the business of, of the, other, the, the, the business of Russia interfering, trying to uh, sow social discord is so ridiculous that there was what did they buy? Well, a couple of Russian organizations bought Facebook ads that nobody pays attention to? No, that wasn't that had no influence whatsoever. What did have an influence is is the is the DNC leak that in John Podesta's own words and Hillary Clinton's own correspondence, we found out that the DNC rigged the election against Bernie Sanders. There was no talk, and then they elevated Donald Trump as the Pied Piper in a Pied Piper strategy, right? That's what we know, right? That had an influence, right? And that influence is, was very real, right? When WikiLeaks started to release all that information leading up to the to the uh, to the presidential uh, the presidential election against Trump and Hillary Clinton, right? So that is that is a very real that was that was real. But but the idea that 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 other you know Russians had some sort of sway in the election is totally ridiculous. The second element uh, involves Russian government efforts to conduct computer hacking operations designed to gather and disseminate information to influence the election. The special counsel found that Russian government actors successfully hacked into computers and obtained emails from persons affiliated with the Clinton campaign and Democratic Party organizations and publicly disseminated those materials through various intermediaries, including WikiLeaks. That is a total fucking lie, right? There's no evidence, right? There's no evidence that, that that's what happened. All of the evidence points to, in their own words, that they rigged the election, got caught, and someone inside dumped that shit onto WikiLeaks. In WikiLeaks' own words, we've seen, we've seen Julian Assange say that it was, it was probably Seth Rich. Although, because WikiLeaks uses a double-blind dump, that it's likely that WikiLeaks in itself doesn't know who dumped it. But the idea that Russian hackers came in no evidence. FBI never inspected the the servers. An outside source came in, CrowdStrike, and scrubbed the servers before anybody had a chance to see it. And and Guccifer was born. Right, Russia Gate was born there. Right? So there is a lie in here. Robert Mueller is lying to the American people now. Should the full report be released? Yeah, but it's it's not going to, you know, because it's going to be so redacted that 95% of the page is going to have sharpied, sharpied out names and stuff, and it'll be impossible to put together. But the fact is the Democrats win in this respect. Based on these activities, the special counsel brought criminal charges against a number of Russian military officers for conspiring to hack in, conspiring or did, to hack into computers in the United States for purposes of influencing the election. Do you think that the Russian, that the, do you think that for a second, the U.S. government and all its force would have stopped uh, short of obtaining those people and bringing them to trial and, and showing the American people the evidence of a hack? Of course they would have. They would have done that if they actually had the evidence, but they don't have the evidence because there is no evidence. The evidence points to 
a couple of lone wolves inside the DNC, dumping, taking a thumb drive, right? Taking a thumb drive, sticking it in the computer, and downloading that information and taking it and dumping it to a neutral source in England. And that was WikiLeaks. And that is the story of, of that is the story of how the emails were disseminated to, to WikiLeaks, right? Now, here's another part of it is that even if, and it's, I'm not saying that it is, but even if a foreign entity assisted, the content of the emails are what matters. The people that actually showed that the American elections are rigged, right, should be given an award, should be given the Nobel Peace Prize, not prosecuted. They cheated. They, we, we caught them cheating, giving, you know, all the, I'm not going to relitigate, all of the, all of the sh shit that they were saying. And then what we found throughout, throughout from state to state to state, mostly with Donald Trump and Bernie, uh, with Trump and San with Clinton and Sanders, Clinton and Sanders, how elections were rigged from state to state. In California, they threw 2 million votes in the garbage, how they front loaded the South where nobody knew Bernie Sanders, then tried to paint Bernie Sanders as a racist because he lost the South where nobody knew him, where they purged 200,000 votes in Brooklyn alone, all late, uh, late um, uh, register registrators that would, would have swung the election to Bernie Sanders, on and on and on, shutting, the election, shutting down polling places in Arizona and Massachusetts, limiting the number of places where people can vote, right? Provisional ballots, superdelegates, that's rigging. That's rigging. Hillary Clinton winning seven coin tosses in a row throughout, you know, in, in caucuses. Absurd, right? Absurd, obvious election rigging in conjunction with what we found out that they were, in fact, doing it in their own words from WikiLeaks that we found that out. So, so those are the two takeaways. That's the big move of Russia and Trump. Russia working with Trump to, to hack the election against Hillary Clinton, right? That's the big move that is now confirmed a total fucking lie, right? In, in, the, in the special counselman's own words and in the attorney general's own words, it's a lie. Right? Now, the other lie that has, has that, that Trump, it's not that, that AG uh, Barr is saying this to be true. He's just repeating the finding of Mueller. So here's that's the point of contention right now. Will will the AG move to to confirm that the Russians hacked into those DNC servers? And uh, again, there's so much evidence that they that that the DNC rigged it. And I'll mention also always the DNC fraud lawsuit with Jared and Elizabeth Beck, who are championing that down in Florida got the DNC to, conf to confirm in their own words in open court that the DNC does pick the candidate, that the primaries are fake. They're not real elections. Right? That's why Bernie Sanders, you know, I mean, he folded like a cheap rug. So here's, I want to I wanna play, uh, I want to play a few things. Listen, listen to Trump. Now, there are consequences for going after Trump and Trump's family and Trump's inner circle, right? The FBI rigged information with this bullshit PP dossier as as grounds to to tap Trump's, you know, to to put a tail on Trump to to wire him and find out and dive into his background, right? Through through a fake Clinton paid for dossier, right? And then they they not only they didn't stop going after him. They went after his kids, right? They were going to lock up his kids in round the clock. How, how J Trump, you think, do you think Trump is going to, is going to let that slide? <laughs> I don't think so. So here's Trump in his own words. When are you going to uh, surveil your Mr. President? Mr. President, so did this turn out to not be a witch hunt after all? Do you think Robert Mueller did a lasted a long time. We're glad it's over. It's 100% uh, the way it should have been. I wish it could have gone a lot sooner, a lot quicker. Uh, there are a lot of people out there that 
have done some very, very evil things, very bad things. I would say treasonous things uh, against our country. Treason. And uh, hopefully that people that have done such harm to our country, we've gone through a period of uh, really bad things happening. Uh, those people will certainly be looked at. I've been looking at them for a long time, and I'm saying, why haven't they been looked at? They lied to Congress. Many of them, you know who they are. Uh, they've done so many evil things. Uh, I will tell you, I love this country. I love this country as much as I can love anything. My family, my country, my God. But what they did, it was a false narrative. It was, it was a terrible thing. Uh, we can never let this happen to another president again. I can tell you that. I say it very strongly. Uh, very few people I know could have handled it. We can never, ever let this happen to another president again. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. So the, the, thing, the thing about, I mean, it's, it's, it's such an honest response to what happened, right? That Trump is, is um, they made him a hero. Now, I mean, he, Trump, Trump deflected allegations that no human being, you know, in history could, I mean, it's just, he's like, a, he's like Superman, that he was able to reflect and turn the media on itself and then ultimately prove his innocence, right? But the fact that, that the, the accusers are going are gonna to walk away, and in Trump's own words, that they're treasonous and evil, is he's he's coming to get him right? They went after his they went after his kids. Listen to Donald Trump. Donald Trump, thanks very much for coming on. So I can't recall the number of times I heard people predict that you would be indicted. You have not been indicted. You're not going to be indicted. Um, I have not, but it's thousands, if not much more than that, Tucker. It's so what's the experience like? What's it like to be you right now? Listen, it feels great. I mean, because. I was a big part of all of this going on. I'm the one that took the daily incoming, the nonsense. Now, at the same time, I'm also the person that was actually there, that was actually in the room. So I understand everything that went into it. I realized that's a that's a big point right there. What he just said, uh, Trump Jr. Right? He was there. He was in the room, and he was the recipient of this nonsense, fake lie. Right? I've been in the situation where people have people that I I don't really know. Uh, you know, YouTube community have attacked me and thrown out 20, 50, 30, 70 different lies about me. And when someone lies about you and makes up a story about you, it's easily debunked for you because you're like, that never, I don't even know who, what they're talking about. It's a, it's, a, it's a fairy tale that they're saying. They make up names, they make up places that you were, and, and none of it is true because you know it's not true. You were never there. You don't, you don't have these associates, associations. So that that's what it's like to be attacked and know you're in the right. And then the, the object of the attacker is to put you on defense. He's like, I didn't do it. I didn't fucking do it. And you break down, right? And and uh, But they, they didn't break down. Here's Trump Jr. again. We didn't do anything wrong. Certainly, uh, when you look at what the other side was doing, you realize that it was them, in fact, colluding, not us. We were doing a campaign. We were functioning like any campaign would, and that's what we did. So it was difficult to watch. It was difficult to watch what they're trying to and have been trying to do to my father for two years. And it's really the Democrats with their media lackeys uh, creating a narrative that they want to be true because they couldn't explain the outcome of the last election. My father won. He was eight. See, here's where, here's where Trump Jr. now spins it that my father... You know, it was all about him and Hillary Clinton, and it wasn't because I mean that that's that's the the maybe the depth of his knowledge, or that's his politics. But it's not it's not true. The the, the Russia Gate was born in the DNC hack. That's where it started. That's where Robbie Mook, Hillary Clinton, and John Podesta formulated this idea of Russia hacking to a, the election. Russia hacking the emails, right? And then sudden, somehow it became Russia hacked the election too. <laughs> Remember they were saying that? That they were inside the machines and no, that was the Democrats inside the machines, right? We, we know that, the, that the, 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 the voting machines are highly riggable. We know that, right? And we know that the primaries are rigged because they said, the DNC said it in their own words. So, but let's, let's just end on, the, on this. 
in did Hillary Clinton break the law? Right? Now, that this also this also is is big because because we know we we there there is precedence. What I'm trying to say. Let's listen to. I I don't, I don't know the exact point I'm trying to make, but let's listen to. FBI James Comey at the time give a, a this statement on Hillary Clinton's email investigation. Total blunder, totally treasonous, right? If Hillary Clinton would have been pressed, that's what I wanted to say. If Hillary Clinton would have been pressed and prosecuted for the crime of of erasing evidence on the subpoena, deleting emails that showed quid pro quo amongst other things and highly classified information that was flipping back and forth between people that weren't authorized to see it. That's minor. But the real, the real hidden value of Hillary Clinton's emails is the quid pro quo, is taking the, that the favors going out are, have a direct correlation to the money coming in. That's how you prove quid pro quo. So without the communications, all you have is money flowing into a campaign. In this case, a fake foundation, the Clinton Foundation. Uh, so, so, but but the the point is that Hillary Clinton and and Bill Clinton and the Clinton Foundation were caught dead to right, right when when pressed about this email stuff, and they deleted classified information. You heard Cl- Hillary Clinton lie to Congress so many times. Oh, we we scrubbed the uh, the server with a cloth. Uh, uh, there was no classified information. Uh, uh, I didn't receive any, I didn't send any. Well, the, the FBI found differently and then exonerated her and said, oh, we, it's no precedence, we can't prosecute. From the group of 30,000 emails returned to the State Department in 2014, 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. Eight of those chains contained information that was top secret at the time they were sent. 36 of those chains contained secret information at the time. And eight contained confidential information at the time. That's the... All felonies, right? The, the, it's, not, it's not a matter of, did you know it was classified? Even if you did know, you're passing classified information around on the server, right? Uh, on a, uh, not even on the server, on, on a server in your basement and then using a cheap BlackBerry while you're abroad, a hackable device abroad, you're, you're jeopardizing national security, right? That's what Hillary Clinton did, and she, she got a pass on it. But more so than that was if 30,000 were analyzed, and this is what they found, the other 30,000, of course the N- NSA has it. Of course the FBI has it and knows what was on that information uh, on those servers, that in there you find the quid pro quo. So, so that's how it all. Um, you want to watch another Mike Tyson? All right, I'm good. So, Mark Sconti reporting. So that that's all I wanted to say today about the uh, Mueller report. It's the big move covering the little move. The let's never forget that the Democratic Party. I mean, a lot of us cheered. I'll give you one story and I'll let you go. The, the big story, right? I mean, I was not a Trump supporter. I support his his effort for the truth in this matter and always will. But his his politics are are not something that uh that that uh, sit well with me. His 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 policies on on the economy are just they're just ass backwards as the most of the Republicans uh, have promoted through Reagan and uh, Alan Greenspan's trickle-down economics that at one time worked and is now failing. But putting that aside, the the night that Trump uh, and Hillary Clinton, the night of the election 2016, November 6th, uh, here in New York, I was both of the, the victory parties were scheduled to be in New York. Right? Trump was in Trump Tower, I believe, and, and uh, Hillary Clinton was over at the Javits Center, less than a mile apart. Both presidential uh, victory parties were scheduled to happen, right? And I didn't go to either one of them because the the election um, the election didn't get called until like two o'clock in the morning, if you remember. And I remember sitting up by myself, right, 
saying after 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 knowing what I knew, and watching Bernie Sanders get cheated, and capitulate and not and not stand up for himself whatsoever, and allow and not only that, then sided with Satan herself, and supported Hillary Clinton in her run for the presidency. Having known all of that and all of what I just told you today, right? watching Donald Trump, when Donald Trump won, when Donald Trump became president-elect Donald Trump, I didn't want to see Trump, I didn't care to see Trump as the president. But man, what a great feeling it was to watch Hillary Clinton go down in flames. I jumped up in the air. I, I, I remember fucking jumping up in the air, up and down like a little kid, couldn't believe that, that Trump beat her. I was so happy because I knew it was the end of the lie that if Hillary Clinton would have been elected president, all of this would have never been, it would never been revealed. And I still, I still view, I I would like to see Donald Trump come out and say that the Russians did not hack the DNC, that it was an inside leak. But now it seems like that's a story that works to his advantage. Yeah, yeah, Democrats... Yeah, the Russians hacked their, their 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 servers, right? It's a fucking lie, and everybody knows it's a lie, and they're going to continue the lie, and that turns off the voter. It turns off the base. So does Trump have a a does Trump have a um, interest in does Donald Trump have an interest in revealing that the that the uh, Russians did not in fact uh, rig the election against? Rigged the, the the DNC servers, hacked the servers, and dumped the emails to WikiLeaks. He doesn't really have an interest because that lie kills the Democrats. Every time they say the Russians hacked the election, their numbers go down, and the independents will never, never, never go to that side and agree with it because the evidence doesn't support it. Uh, so that's that's unfortunate. But nonetheless, Trump still represents a wrecking ball. His that's why I was jumping up and down, because Trump, Trump was the wrecking ball. He was he was like like ah like the cannonball flying into the ship, and and popping a hole in the side, and you're watching the ship go down. Uh, that was Donald Trump, right? And he he, you know, j- just in in destroying the Democratic Party like that, and watching them have to fold fold up the tent and leave. Was was just the greatest feeling. It really was, you know. And um, we'll see what happens. I mean, he's still, you know, he is the president. He he got this victory. Right now, there's there's no standing chance that any Democrat can beat him. I will still hold true that if 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 Bernie Sanders can can get a full blown, hey, you don't have to agree with me. I'm just telling you what time it is. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Right? You don't have to agree with me, and you don't have to write 25 times that Bernie Sanders is a sellout and he sided with the Russians and he sucked Hillary Clinton's tit. I don't care. What I'm telling you is this. If Bernie Sanders gets out in front, now that he has name brand recognition like Donald Trump did, if, if Bernie Sanders gets out in front right, with the people, which he already is, there's a media blackout, but he's pulling 16,000, 20,000 people in L.A. He's all over the country right now doing rallies, drawing huge crowds. If Trump, if, if Sanders gets out in front of the first primaries, which is New Hampshire and Iowa, and he landslides the people's opinion, right? He, he has to win. He has to, he has to manufacture the consent for winning first because the Democrats are going to cheat him, right? If he can landslide it, that where even the dumbest person can say, Bernie Sanders won. Look, everybody's talking about Bernie Sanders. How in, on earth did the shit sandwich beat Bernie Sanders, right? If that happens, as it did with Trump beating the field in the Republican Party by double-digit numbers, right, that he has to, Bernie Sanders has to out, uh, uh, he has to overshoot the margin of cheating to win. If he can do that in the early primaries with his name brand, brand recognition, and the Democrats fold up the you know fold up their tents and support him, he will beat Trump in 2020. That you can you can you can bet that because the Democrats will then capitulate 
to Trump, to, to will capitulate to Bernie, right? And then Bernie will win. Now, the other thing is that if the Democrats choose to go down in flames, that's an indication that they'd rather lose to Trump than win with Sanders, which really is the case because Bernie Sanders represents real change, represents breaking up big tech, breaking up the banks, deflating the oligarchy, and restoring uh, equilibrium to, uh, to our society. Right? That's what he represents. And uh, the oligarchy is not going to have that. They'll use the Democratic Party as a tool to totally destroy him, maybe even, you know, wipe him out somehow. Uh, and, and uh, you know, because them, their bottom line is, a, is at stake. Marcus Scotti reporting.